Yeah, I do with YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to try and do a day in the life vlog today. I'm about to take my quiz for fundamental skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on that. I've got to log into the lockdown browser. I just checked into the WebEx. So I'll see you guys after the quiz. Keep studying and I wish you the best of luck on your test. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Those of you, um, I see Thank your you. test. Thank you. I am just logging out of class. I had, um, what did I have today? <laughs> Not sleep apparently. I had just had, wow. Wow, why is the lighting excessive? Hmm. But yes, I just had fundamentals lecture and now I'm about to get dressed for my lab portion of it. For lab, I had to do a video of like hand washing and stuff and I completely forgot until just now. So I'm about to do that real quick. I'm gonna fix my hair, put on my uniform and do my hand washing video. So... Splash some water on it. Do my edges real quick. Okay, that's acceptable. All right, now I'm about to just clean up my bathroom area a little bit since I gotta put it on camera. Okay. I am dressed. I'm just gonna run through and practice real quick and I'll be performing my skills return demonstration for hand hygiene. First, I will begin by wetting both of my hands completely. Next, I will apply three to five milliliters of soap and rub my hands together vigorously for a minimum of 20 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my video and then I'll just insert it here once it's done. Hello, my name is Melissa Nelson. My D number is D4111892 and I will be doing my return demonstration skills for hand hygiene. Okay, to start, I will be turning on the faucet and wetting my hand thoroughly. Once my hand is wet, I pump out, normally I'll pump out three to five milliliters of soap and rub it thoroughly for at least 20 seconds, and I start with my fingers and make circular motions going up to the wrist, just starting with the fingers, and I keep my hands pointed down. I will rinse it with my hands pointing down. Another piece of paper to turn the faucet off. Hand sanitizer hy hygiene, I would take some hand sanitizer, I would take about three to five milliliters as well, and I would just rub my hands rigorously until the hand sanitizer dries. And once my hands dry, I make sure that they're dry, um, check in, and there we go. So I just finished. It is now uploading. So once you complete your skills recording, you have to post it onto the Canvas app using this thing called Kaltura. So that's what I just did. And so now I'm about to just chill until I have lab, which is in 30 minutes. Actually, I need to go pick up a package from downstairs, so I'm gonna do that. So I just went to get my packages. And I have my FedEx, which is definitely my wig. I feel it. So, so it is from Diva's Wigs. Comes with a little paddle brush. The brush, the brush look kinda dirty. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's not a cute color. It's a um, headband wig. Take this out and get my hair right for this wig. Oh, this is exciting. On the go hair already done. It just needs to be washed real quick. And they sent me two headbands. These are not my style, but they're free. Actually, this one's okay. And then I also have this. I don't know why. And don't say nothing to me about Target. Oh, it's my fruit basket. So 
So I got a fruit basket. It's golden brass. It's really cute. I love it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and wash this wig out real quick and let it dry while I'm in lab because I have lab for like four hours. Now that that has arrived, I feel like I want to take out this out of my hair that I put in so that I can set it up to accept the wig, you know what I mean? Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm about to log into my class for lab. Usually the way my setup is, I have my monitor here and my iPad and my water in the way my iPad so that I can write you know as I'm going along <clears throat> and then everything else is set up I just got an email that financial aid was dispersed onto my account but that's weird because it was already it was already dispersed yes yeah, so I'm logging into my clinical Webex right now because sometimes every once in a while I will get you know my Webex will randomly say that it's updating and then it'll, I'll end up being late to class because it's taking its time to update and I and I'm trying to avoid that so I'm gonna go ahead and log in early early ish it's already 12:55 so I need to be in there anyway <clears throat> is my necklace off yes my necklace is off so today in skills lab I think we're doing vital signs I don't know how that's gonna go with us not being in person I mean we have the, the items so we have blood pressure cuff stethoscope well, I have a blood pressure cuff stethoscope I have a pen light I have my watch I have my real watch not my apple watch hi everybody I'm just taking um I'm taking attendance right now um and I will be with you all in just a second you know <clears throat> so if I get another blanket, I feel like I need a hood. I'm I don't know. My I even turned the heat on in my my apartment and I'm still cold. I hope I'm not getting sick. But I am cold. All right. So what's the word hemodynamic mean? Have you heard that word before? No? Well, you're gonna hear it. It's gonna come up um, in something about blood. Hemodynamic is a fancy word for the heart rate, the blood pressures, and uh, you know, the um, temperature, those types of things. No, okay? All right, ready to go. You're welcome. Nice to see all of you on Tuesday. And just like that, we are done with lecture. So it's actually pretty early. It's actually pretty early. It's 4.13, so I'm just gonna throw my wig on, change, and run off to the polls because I would really want to get in line before the five o'clock rush. Yeah, as you guys can see, I got the wig on. It is not secured at all. I couldn't dirty one in a competition or nothing like this was this is not it it's cute I really like it and I like the color and stuff but damn they could have put some clips in here or something so that it could you know be a little bit secure like ain't got no kind of security and it's falling off my head oh my god it's falling off my head But I'm on my way to vote. I actually went this morning. I got up at 6.50 to go vote, but I couldn't be bothered. Um, oh, Lord Jesus. It's a lot of Trump. It's a lot of Trump trucks driving around. Yikes. This is going to be an interesting turnout. Either way, I'm leaving this country, so it don't matter to me. But um, this, is, this has been a very interesting year, too, because I have a lot of people in my life who've also decided that this is the year that 
we're standing up against voting and like personally do i feel strongly about voting being my civic duty no however it's hard for me as a black person to not think about even though i'm not african-american it's still hard for me to think about people who are african-american in this country who have died for this right you know like women's suffrage that that bill was 1920 but black women didn't get the right to vote until like 1960 or 1970 which was like yesterday okay that's younger than my mama thinking about my ancestors makes me feel like that's what's exciting to me it's like wow you know if they could see me today as a young black woman being able to vote and all that stuff like that's that's the part where i'm like yeah i gotta get myself out of bed i got no excuse you know what i'm saying so why y'all drive so slow my brother why y'all drive so slow y'all pray that the line is not long because honey i don't got the patience but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna wait trust me i'm gonna wait but y'all pray that the line is not long so remember how i was like you know voting is really not all of that I like, I don't know who I think I am sometimes. I really be trying to play. I love voting. I really, my heart just fluttered a little bit. I got a little bit of butterflies, you know what I'm saying? Performing my civic duty. This is my third presidential election, or is it my second? I've done, you know, I do the gubernatorial and all the other little elections throughout the year. So I voted quite a bit, but this, for some reason, this election actually made me like nervous because I know that the purge is gonna happen tomorrow no matter who wins. So I'm not looking forward to the outcome irregardless of which way it goes. And yes, I know irregardless is not a word. There's a quite a bit of Trump bands surrounding me. And Georgia is a pretty Trumpy state. So I guess I should have expected that. Double à la I can't see like... I'm gonna go ahead and run to UPS, run to Target, and run to Bros, and then go back home and clean. That's the move. Or I guess I need to work. I need to work out also, and then clean. So that's the move for today. You don't know where we don't end up now. I've now made it to Ross, so I'm going to do my return here and then also pick up something something. Might get a little cheer or something. We'll see how this goes. So I'm back home. Didn't think I was gonna make it because I'm getting kind of tired, but I need to be consistent. So we on the mail. Just got finished doing a very light workout, but it was good. And now I'm about to go cry about this election. So I'm gonna close this video out. See you guys tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna post it tomorrow or record how I feel about the election results, but I will see you guys in my next video. Look more.